Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Natasha. This is my first YouTube video ever. So I wanted to start off with documenting my journey. So I enlisted into the military, to the army, about two weeks ago. And I actually ship off to basic training in two days. So I'm going to Fort Jackson, South Carolina, Army basic training. Um, I'll be there for 10 weeks. Graduate right before Thanksgiving. Let's pray they send us home early. But I wanted to do a video about everything that I packed. And I have a friend that's in reception right now. So she pretty much gave me like the heads up on what to bring, what not to bring, you know, pretty much. So I don't want to spend money twice because I do know that once you get there, they give you like the Eagle card and then you go to the troop store and you buy items. So I think I got minimal items. So we'll see. So I guess we'll start off with what I'm wearing to MEPS. So when I leave on Sunday... I have to go to the recruiter's office and then from the recruiter's office we go to the hotel and then spend the night at the hotel and then in the morning we bus over to MEPS and then basically like that's my ship date. Um, so I just picked like my regular tennis shoes, my Nike Freeze that I wear every day. I'm just going to bring those. Um, black bra, black panties because I do know that you have to do like a physical and like a pregnancy test or your analysis, something like that the day that you leave. So I like to keep everything neutral. Black, black, black socks, black sneakers. And then as far as jeans and t-shirts, so I'm just going to bring these are like some Levi's, these like mile high skinnies. So they do come up like above my belly button. They're very comfortable, just straight, you know, denim, no holes, no rips, anything like that. And then I got... This shirt from Walmart for $5 and some change. And I'm actually, and it's a scoop neck, so it is really high up. Because I know they said if you have, I heard that if you have a V-neck, they'll make you turn it around. They want you to tuck your shirt in, uh, things like that. So I am going to go back and get another one because they were sold out of all, they had like extra small larges and then this was the only medium they had. So I'm gonna go to a different Walmart and see if I can get the blue color because I'm gonna bring two shirts, one pair of jeans, and then that's my that's my like civilian clothes that I'm bringing. Uh, so yeah. Um, as far as toiletries go, I got um, a comb, some hair ties, Some bobby pins and what is this rubber bands and a brush and I did buy all new things just because my stuff is all like gunked up with hair gel and edge control and all kind of stuff so I did want to just like start fresh bring everything new it's not a big deal and then I want it and I got it because everything was black because I do like at home I have different colors like an orange comb or a purple comb, but I did think that it just made sense just to get everything black. And I do know that they said that if you have like a rat tail comb, they will throw that away because they consider that to be a weapon. Um, my friend did tell me that for sure. Anything with alcohol, like mouthwash with alcohol, they'll toss it. Uh, and she did say that some of them were throwing away hand sanitizer, so I don't know, but just no, no alcohol. Um, so I got one of these little donuts. So my hair is actually pressed right now, and I just kind of have it like in a twist, like two twists going back. This is primarily how I plan on wearing my hair at basic training. I don't know if they'll allow it, but it is going straight back, and the back of it is like tucked. So it's not going to create tension. Like if I have to brush my hair back into a ponytail every single day, gel it down, try to do this bun, which my hair is natural. Once I get it wet, it's going to be afro. So the likelihood of my ponytail even stretching over this is probably slim to none, but I bought it anyways, just to say I have it. But what I'm going to do, if they don't allow the twist, I'm going to part it, comb it straight back into a ponytail, 
and then braid the end of it and then just like tuck it and bobby pin bobby pin it because it's um, i know it's not going to go in that button we can just stop playing games it's not going all right so then i got every natural girl's best friend a dimming brush to comb this bad boy down so this is like the holy girl of brushes every natural girl you know and she was coming with me to basic train it okay okay so yeah she was coming all right so with more hair products so I had the hardest time, okay, the hardest time finding natural girl products in travel size or any, or even just like brown girl friendly products. I saw a lot of Pantene, a lot of head and shoulders, and I didn't want any of that. So I actually went to Marshall's, and you probably can't even see this. I went to Marshall's and found... Shea Moisture travel size products. So Marshall's TJ Maxx is where I found some of this stuff at. So this is the leave-in conditioner and this is the shampoo. And you know, being natural, I'm all about natural hair products, no parabens and none of that bad stuff. I don't want any of that in my hair. So I was hoping to continue that at basic training. So I was like, thank you gosh, when I found this in the store. So I picked up this as my travel size shampoo and conditioner. Uh, I also got, so, and that's another thing. So when I went to Walmart, I was looking for travel size products and I was going to like the aisle with all the travel size items. I didn't realize until like the last day that I was packing or you know shopping for packing. If you go down to like the urban care aisle, they have like a mini um, a mini travel selection down at the bottom. So you can get like design essentials, shea moisture, this is Carol's daughter. So this is like it says hair milk which is an original leave-in moisturizer, which to me is the same thing as like Cantu moisturizer, pink lotion, ORS lotion, anything that you can squirt, rub it in. That's basically what this is. But again, natural girl friendly, Carol's daughter. It's a good brand. I thought it'd be worth it. So, and then as far as for your hair, so basically, I usually, when I buy coconut oil, I usually buy, I go to like Whole Foods or somewhere like that and get, or you go to Walmart or Food Lion or Kroger, Hair Cedar, wherever you're from. I'm from North Carolina, so those are the grocery stores that we have. Um, but you can get like the glass jar of coconut oil and, you know, that's what I use at home. I could not find a travel size coconut oil anywhere. And I found it at Walmart in the urban section and their little mini travel section. So this is 100% extra virgin coconut oil. This is what, 3.2 ounces. So perfect size. This is what I'm taking as like my grease, my oil for my hair, this right here. And then, oh, as my gel. So the Eco Styler gel is what I use. I could not find for the life of me the green one that I love in this mini size. This is, what is this, one ounce? I'm sorry, three fluid ounces. Three fluid ounces of hair gel. So we're going to go with this. It should be fine. Uh, for my body wash, so I know it said like it had to be unscented. And I found cast aisle soap, which just is like Dr. Bronner's cast aisle soap. Uh, this is what a lot of people use like as bases. So like when I first went natural, I would use like cast aisle soap with like uh, oil, essential oils, whatever, like to make a shampoo. And this is just concentrated. And it's only um, 120 milliliters. But a little of this goes a long way, like literally seven drops on a washcloth and you've got some good lather. It's unscented because it's ba it's for babies, but um, this is perfect. And this literally, I mean, this cleans, like it cleans really, 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 really well. 
So I would recommend getting cast out soak. This is like the smallest I could find. I mean, it's only, it's tiny. So it'll be fine. And it's unscented. So I bought myself a new toothbrush. Probably didn't need to, but I just wanted to. Um, I got some travel toothpaste and toothbrush holder, deodorant. Why I can't see anything. Deodorant. And I knew those little travel sizes of lotion wasn't going to do anything for me. So I just went ahead and got this. It's 4.5 ounces. But I have to stay in a hotel first. Then I have to go to reception. And this little bit of lotion, when I lotion my body, I lotion from my head to my toes. It wasn't going to cut it. So I just went ahead and got this one. I mean, like, again, this is pretty, you know, it's a good size. It's not tiny, but it's small. Um, so, yeah. I got floss, nail clippers. So when you get nail clippers, I know everyone knows, make sure it doesn't have the little metal piece in the inside because they'll make you break it off and throw it away. So I went ahead and was like looking in the aisle like this when I was looking at all the nail filers to make sure that it didn't have it. So this one is good. And a razor. So I know we're supposed to have disposable razors, but like I don't know, my armpits be acting like bougie and they don't be liking them cheap razors. So I just went ahead and got like a metal, and this one is actually metal. So I figure if I drop it, it's not going to break, you know, and it has five blades on it, which is good. If I need to shave my legs, shave my armpits, whatever, I don't know what I'll have time for. I mean, I, I may not even use it. Um, we did have on our list uh, non-aerosol shaving cream, but for the life of me, I could not find shaving cream that was not aerosol in a travel size. So maybe they'll let us have it, get some when we get there, but it's fine. Uh, every girl knows pads and tampons, not a big deal. Uh, so as far as, so here you go. Now talking about the period, um, I just got these just to bring with me. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but whatever, mother nature, it's going to happen every month. Uh, so I know that they say that, I mean, when I read some packing lists, it said like white, beige, or black panties and bras. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I don't, I don't know why you would have white panties in a period that the two just do not go together. So I searched high and low, high and low for briefs they were all black. So this is an eight pack of panties. They're briefs like we're supposed to have. I'm hoping they'll let me keep them. I don't know. We shall see. But I pray that they do. So yeah. And funny thing enough, sports bras. Finding sports bras was one of the hardest things for me to find. Because today they're all like fancy and like sporty. I don't know, like they're trendy. So half of them aren't even sports bras. They're just like little bras that you wear under t-shirts that you can see. You know what I mean? So I had a hard time actually finding like a legit sports bra. But I found this one. It's made by Reebok. You know, basic, basic. Hopefully they don't like, because it does have a small logo on the back. But... I think it should be fine. I only got two because, honest to God, that's all I could find. There wasn't between, like, when I went to Nike, Adidas, I mean, you're talking about $36, $24, and I'm like, eee, for a sports bra? $12.99. Let's get it. So I got two of those, and I'll get the rest when I get there. Uh, I did get the crew socks, so not an ankle sock, a crew sock, so... Okay, it's white. And I got white. That made sense. White socks made sense. Uh, shower shoes. And a lock. So funny thing is, I had a lock. I had one lock. And then my recruiter was like, you're going to need two locks. Why did you buy one lock? And I was like, I don't know. I wasn't thinking. And he's like, well, take that lock. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm like, I'll just go buy another lock. And he's like, no, take that lock back and then buy you a double pack that way you have one combination clutch
bitch. So yeah, here's my double pack of locks. Okay, and then just a little book and a pen. So she told me that my friend who's at reception, she did say, literally, the day that you get there, you're like, you know, tired. It's been a long day. It's probably going to be five o'clock somewhere after somewhere after then. They're going to like take you to your room, show you where you're going. You're going to go to bed. They wake up the next morning. They're going to issue you like your PTs and stuff. So if you go to if you go to MEPS wearing dress shoes, you're going to be wearing PTs and dress shoes until you, you know, until you go buy tennis shoes. So she's at Fort Jackson. She said that they do have New Balances, Brooks, and Asics, I believe, are like the authorized brands. Um, they take a picture of your foot and uh, they take a picture of your foot and then that's kind of like tells them what kind of arch that you have and then like go pick a shoe with whatever you need. So that's fine. Um, she did say they have stamps, they have envelopes, they have paper, they have pens, all that stuff. Don't bring it. It's just like more junk to carry. So I'm not going to bring it. I'm just bringing the book with all my friends' addresses in it, my, my you know, phone numbers, whatever, just in case. Um, what else? And then this is the bag that I'm going to carry everything in. So... I'm hoping take everything out of the packaging. I'm going to put it in a gallon size Ziploc bag and that's it. And I know I did see a video on YouTube where like they had people like dumping out all these Ziploc bags and stuff was flying everywhere. But if it was in their original container, like so, you didn't have to open it. So I'm keeping these socks wrapped up, keeping the tampons and the pads in the boxes, the panties in the boxes. I'm going to bring like two pairs of black panties that I already own like with me and then I'll open these whenever we get there. And then like I said, everything's going to go in like one Ziploc bag. That way I can just kind of dump it out neatly like right in front of me and I'm good. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'm leaving in two days for Fort Jackson. So I'll be back around Thanksgiving heading to AIT in... Uh, Fort Lee, Virginia, and my MOS is a 92 Alpha. So, all right, guys, wish me luck. Talk to you later.